Ilya Samsonov has signed with the Maple Leafs. According to Frank Saravalli, the Leafs have agreed to terms with goaltender Ilya Samsonov on a one-year, $1.8 million deal. Toronto has their guy to play alongside Matt Murray in a tandem next season. So this is going to be a quick video, but two things on this. One, they get a very cheap goaltender in Samsonov who could possibly be a low-risk, high-reward type of guy. Looking at his numbers with Washington, a 913 save percentage back in 1920, a 902 save percentage in 2021, an 896 last season, and it, it's not really the best of numbers, but it's also not the worst either. We've seen that Samsonov has proven that he could be an NHL goaltender with the first year of numbers at a 913 save percentage. It's just a matter of getting himself back there. And it's a similar situation to Matt Murray. And then hopefully, for the Leafs' sake, one of these two pops. And maybe both of them pop off and have a lot of success next year. That's going to be the biggest question. The one big thing that makes this signing really good, heading over to Cap Friendly, is that, again, $1.8 million, very low risk for this potential pop of a goaltender if he does, in fact, do that and also if there is that good goalie in net there's the possibility because he is an RFA that he comes back to the team similar to what happened in Washington the Leafs got him because he didn't qualify with the Capitals or the Capitals didn't qualify him so now the Maple Leafs next season have the chance to do so if they would like. All right, also, I just want to mention I was editing this video and another signing by the Leafs came about. The Leafs have signed Nicholas Abe Kubel to a one year, $1 million deal. I like this signing because A, it's variable, B, he won a Stanley Cup, and this is a good depth option that the Maple Leafs will be able to have down the line this year. Just reading the statement from the Maple Leafs, skating in 67 regular season games for Colorado, Abe Kubel registered 22 points, 11 goals, 11 assists, and added 14 playoff appearances while becoming a Stanley Cup champion. Again, Stanley Cup champion is a also being a possible very good depth addition is B. And that's what this video is all about. I don't know whether or not I'm gonna keep it in, but I discussed the fact that the Leafs need more depth players Abe Kubel is a good one that the Leafs have just picked up. And just going off the reports that we know of, Jack Campbell is headed to the Edmonton Oilers. Ilya Mikheyev is not re-signing with the Leafs as well. Ilya Mikheyev sent out a statement through his agent, Dan Milstein, saying, I would like to say thank you to the Toronto Maple Leafs management, coaches, teammates, and of course, our fans for the last three years of total support, your sincere emotions and faith in me. It was an unforgettable time and a great experience. So again, Ilya Mikheyev, we've known for a long time that he likely won't be back. One more thing though, before I do end off this video, Connor Brown has been linked from going to Ottawa to the Edmonton Oilers, which would be funny because Zach Hyman's already there, Jack Campbell's there, Tyson Berry's there. I saw one tweet saying, if the Oilers don't want Connor McDavid to go to the Leafs, they might as well bring the Leafs to the Oilers. And it seems like that's what they're doing. So there's gonna be a lot more things happening the, there's still going to be a few more signings that the Leafs need to make, a depth forward, maybe somebody to play around in their top six. I don't know, but keep it here because there's going to be a lot more, a lot more.